Honey, get in here and open the windows. It's hot in here. Yes, dear. What the heck? Uh, if you got here by searching for this video, you probably know the frustration of trying to open your RV window and nothing happens. Well, um, I've had this problem in this RV for a couple of years and I'm now just getting around to fixing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out uh, the mechanism that opens these windows and uh, replace it with a new one. So let's go through the process. First thing I'm going to do is pull the screen out. You just need to grab it from underneath and push it up and pull it out at the same time and then it comes right out. The next thing you need to do is remove this this little thing here which is which is called an operator and that is the problem. These uh, There's gears inside there that get stripped and uh, the only thing you can do really is replace the whole unit. Um, I've never tried to take one apart. They're pretty cheap so it probably wouldn't even be worth trying to take it apart and fix it. Now I'm going to remove the knob which just has one Phillips screw holding it in. Next I'm going to release this spring that is putting pressure on this arm that opens the window here. And one on this side. Now I'm going to remove this C-clip. So you just basically pull it out either with a screwdriver or a C-clip remover. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now you just separate those two arms by putting something in between them like a thin screwdriver and twisting. And there you go. Now I'm going to take the screws out of this operator. And uh, there are three. There are two on the bottom and one on the top. The top one is very difficult to get to. If you have a long Phillips screwdriver, it will uh, work out a lot better for you. And I don't. I just have a regular size one. So it's a little more difficult, but uh, it's doable. Now if you look up in there, you can see that top one. It's only that one on that side, and it's difficult to get to because it's uh, up in there, and um, you've got this bar in the way, and um, so it's, it's a little difficult to get out of there, but I'm not going to show this part because I need two hands to, to do it, and what I'm going to use is um, this little skinny flathead screwdriver which will fit in uh, one of the slots of the Phillips head and um, I'm just going to work at it until I can get it backed out of there. Okay they're all out of there now and what you can do is pull on the shaft right here pull it this way because it needs to clear this indentation in the frame here or like this little cutout for it and that's what's holding it up so you got to get it beyond that and so you can pull it down and then uh, once you get it up there you can just pry this tube and push it down there, there. there it goes and then once it's down like that you can just pull the operator off the end. Now, I want to talk about these operators a little bit. These these things are confuse a lot of people. I noticed when I ordered one. Um, they have they make different types and they're in different configurations. And you know, as you can see, like this window has the the knob on the left side, and this one over here has it on the right side. So these they these come in left and right handed. But uh, most people will look at this and say, well, it goes on the left-hand side of the window, so it's a left-handed operator. Well, it's actually just the opposite of that. And uh, 
this one is called a right-handed operator. So what, what, what it means is what, to have a right-handed operator is that in this position, the drive part of it comes out of the right side of the operator, even though it mounts on the left side of the window. So, I mean, it's sort of counterintuitive. I mean, I, I would have thought that they would have said, you know, just said if it's on the left side of the window, it's a left-hand operator, but they don't do it that way. Anyway, I got the new one right here. And uh, as you can see, it says it's a right hand. Okay, I'm just going to take this new operator and stick it on the end of this tube here. And I'm going to, if it, if it isn't already in this position, rotate the, uh, the little knob here until it's straight up and down in line with with uh, this part here. And then I'll show you why it's gonna be easier to get it in that way. So then you hold that together. And then you need to put the uh, other end up, up in here where it's supposed to go in that hole. And then on this side, you're gonna make sure this tube is angled down far enough so you can get this, this end into that channel in the window there. And then you're going to push it up and in, back in, up into the position that goes into. When you do that, you have to hold these springs here in this position so that they go up underneath this, this uh, upper channel so that the long part is facing inward towards you like this. And uh, you have to do that on both sides. So if you, on the high side, if you do that first, just slide that up into position right towards the end there. And then, it, you know, it's difficult to do this with uh, one hand while I got the camera in the other hand, but so just, you just put that up there and you're going to have to hold this in position while you push the other end up. And you're also going to have to hold, you're also going to have to hold this, this one in that position when you push this side up. So uh, I'm going to do that now, although I'm sorry I can't film it. Okay, I've got it back up there now, and you can see that this is the position that it's supposed to be in. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put the screws back into these two bottom holes. I'm not going to bother with the top one because uh, I don't, really don't think it's necessary. You got two screws down here holding it in. It's not going to go anywhere. And uh, that upper screw is just a problem. So I'm just going to do the two bottom holes. Okay, that one's pretty far in there. Now before I tighten that down all the way, I'm going to put the other screw in the other side, which has a... Um, little plastic bracket behind it because these uh, the sides of these channels are slanted and so that just takes up that space so that makes the, so that it makes uh, makes this uh, level going across this way so uh, first I'm just going to pull this over as far as I can and then put this screw in here those are in there and tight so now I'm going to uh, reconnect these arms here next I'll put the c-clips back in now we'll hook the springs back on the arms Like that. And the only thing left to do now is uh, put the knob back on. Oops, almost forgot we got to put the screen back on too. So just fit it back up under there, slide it over, and push it, push it in there while pushing it up.
Ah, uh, much better. Well, it's about time you finished that. We were burning up in here. I think it's time for a beer.